Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have another Divi tutorial. I'm going to show you how to increase the clickable area on the Divi toggle and accordion modules. So first I'm gonna show you how it is by default. And then we're gonna walk through it and it's a really quick tutorial, simple solution as always to show you how to make this a lot better. All right, let's get started. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click the link in the description. You'll need that for the CSS snippets. So believe it or not, the toggle and accordion, um, the clickable area is extremely small. I mean, it's less than a third of the whole area. Let me show you. So I don't know how quick, how well this will show up for you, but when I hover over here, see the, the, um, the area that I can click is as tall as the text. And if you really stop and look at that, the text is what? I mean, that's less than a third. That's more like maybe 20% of the entire height. And to me, I was, you know, I was thinking like, shouldn't, shouldn't I just be able to click right here? But no, it has to be right in the center. Okay. That's by default. And it's the same way with the accordion. You know, if I'm, it has to be right over the text. So we're going to show you how to change that, obviously. All right. That's what we do here. So um, it's the same tutorial, the code is slightly different. So you get to choose whether you have toggles or accordions or both or whatever, and just follow along with that. So it's the same thing either way. Um, we're gonna take like this class right here. If we're doing the toggle, PA toggle clickable area. And if it's the accordion, it's the same thing, PA accordion clickable area. So we're gonna go and add that to our site in the advanced tab. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, I'll start with the toggle. Open it up, advanced tab, CSS, ID and classes toggle, and then right here, paste that in there. All right, and like I said, the same thing for the accordion. Um, I'm just going to do it this way. All right, so we have it in both modules. That's the first step. Now we also need to add the actual code that's targeting these modules. Okay, so um, go back to the tutorial. You can see we've done that. Next is just adding, copying the code and adding it to your site. And you can add it in your child theme or you can add it in theme options to your custom CSS box, okay? So toggle module. I'm just gonna click the copy, right? Um, and again, you could add it several different places. So the first place, um, if you don't have a child theme, the place would be theme options. Go down here, go to Divi theme options, and um, just basically scroll to the bottom. Now I'm going to just use my Chrome extension right now. So I'm going to exit the builder. The Chrome extension allows me, you know, as a teacher showing you um, live, right? So we still don't have it in there. But if I use this Chrome extension. It's just called user CSS. It doesn't save it or anything. It runs the CSS, but um, it doesn't save it, okay? So we're gonna open this up, paste that. Now that was for toggle. I'm just gonna go back and do the accordion at the same time, copy that. All right, that way I have them both done at the same time. And just like that, I'm ready to preview to see if this works, all right? Let's go ahead, I'm gonna hover over this toggle. And you can see instantly, I'm able to click to open and to close in that whole, this whole top area. It could be on the icon, it could be over here, because that's where people are gonna click, right? Just anywhere there. Okay, the same for an accordion. It's a little different to close, you gotta go to the different one. And that's it. That is it. Here I have the explanation of everything we did. The first part of the code, um, we're removing the default padding. We're saying padding zero. And if you just did that and didn't add the rest, um, the, the toggle would be as big as the text, right? And then the next three steps are just adding it back. So like right here, we're adding it back to the top area, basically the area that's like what we consider the toggle area, right? The clickable area that's adding it back to that the second or the third one here is adding it to the right side of the icon because we kind of messed the icon position up that's just fixing that 
And then the last one is adding it back to the open area right here, like around this area here where it's open. It's putting it back because the only way to properly remove it was to remove it. This first one removes it on the whole thing. And so this just, um, that's the only way it would work, but it makes sense. They should have done this to begin with because the now we're saying that this whole thing, the padding is associated with this. The padding is associated with the clickable element. That's why the area is increased. So what we did is really simple and, and when we think about it, it should have just been that way by default, but that's okay because here's the solution. Um, but that's how it's working. We're taking away the fluff around the outside and saying replace that fluff area with actual clickable area. So we're just swapping out the padding from the fluff area to the, to the functional area. So when the padding's associated with the clickable area, then that padding area is also clickable. That's all we're doing. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, if you thought that was kind of cool and clever and, and you're learning, give me a thumbs up. And of course, be sure to subscribe if you're learning. Um, every week we have a new video here on YouTube and new blog post on our blog. So you can count on that um, every Tuesday, okay? So that's what we have here. We hope you enjoy this. Let me know in the comments and we'll see you all in the next video.